I wanted to look at the plant equipment because I've seen so many people giving advice on it and getting it wrong. It's worth noting that I am currently on the dev mode and it's 0.6 I think it is or 0.06. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this coal mine over here or this coal vein sorry because it's something that we can keep consistent because we know all of this is coal. If I dig the black stuff I'm going to get 100% coal. If I dig down the strip here I can get coal and I can get various different types of dirt. That's what I have in the bucket at the minute. As you can see, I've got a scoop. Now, a lot of people are saying, oh, but if you go to the sorter and you bring up the sorter, you input some sort of dirt and you're only going to get dirt and blasted rock out. This is not right. This is not true. The sorter so far that I have found is the only thing that works. I will check everything else in this video. But right now, the sorter is the only thing that works. What it does is you input whatever the heck you're digging and it will output dirt and ore. It will split the dirt from the ore and I'll show you because it's really annoying that people are telling you wrong so far. So I have this loader, the, sorry, this rock truck is going to get the ores that come out the front and hopefully this is in the right place and this truck will get the dirt, okay? I don't know how people haven't tested this yet. So we're just going to swing this bucket around and I'm just going to load straight onto the conveyor. I'm not worrying about hoppers or anything like that. I'm just going to go straight onto the conveyor, right? We'll probably lose half a dozen things as it all rolls down, but that doesn't matter. We just let it do its thing, because it does have a limit to the number of stuff that it can actually take. It's got like a 12 ton limit, okay? And we'll let it run through until there's nothing left. Now for a start, what you can do is you can even click on the conveyor and it'll tell you you've got dirt going in and what's coming out. So you see here, from this dig, we took coal and we took dirt. There's nothing left on the conveyor now. So if I go over to these two trucks, what am I expected to see? In here, I'm expected to see ore. There you have it. You can clearly see that there is no dirt in this truck. And where's all the dirt? All the dirt is in here. Now you can take my word for this or you can check it yourself. I personally have taken a drill to this stuff and I see that this is 100% ore and this is 100% dirt. So this so far is the only thing that is working. Just for peace of mind, I'm going to empty this truck. Five point one tons sold. So if I go over to the station, open the control station, you have produced a total of five tons to a value of four thousand something dollars. So I sold five tons, and it tells me how much it is. It doesn't tell me what the material was. I get that, but it was exactly all sellable. So that proves that everything that was in that truck was potentially coal, or at least it was something that could be sold. So if it was just dirt, it would have been a heavier load, and it wouldn't have made me as much money. So let's try this again, shall we? So we're going to use the front end loader and we're going to go in here because obviously this is a different type of ores and stone and rock and all sorts, right? So we're going to take this. And we're going to go put this through the conveyor as well. Bear with me, I'm going to run this through a hopper simply because it's a bigger load. But it will still be the same thing. Ores will still go into the front truck and the dirt will still go into the back truck. And again, with the hopper, you can jump out, you can look in the hopper and it can see what it's going through. It's running through all of this stuff. So we should have various different lithium magnite and all sorts of stuff going into that front truck and again it should be very obvious that the only thing in here is going to be dirt yeah you can see the different ores stacking up in the truck they are different colors you can see that they're different but over here it's just dirt okay so i think we're done there so if we jump in here we'll take off of this we'll go sell all of this so remember the first time it was a five ton load and it all sold and we could see it in the control it said it was five tons it sold for however much it was we'll do the same here another five tons for eight grand and if we go look in the store we have sold a total of 10 tons i think the money's not right but the tons is right okay so now i'm just going to go get a big scoop of just what it seems to be dirt it'll be majoritively dirt and the reason i want to do this is because i want to try and show you something so i'm going to get all of this it's just dirt okay so we've got a big pound of mud because i want to try and use this something that's hopefully going to show you so straight away you see most of it is all falling into this first rock truck it's just input dirt output dirt nothing else and if there is anything else as you've seen, it will go through the sorter and the sorter will split the ore from the dirt. Right, so in the interest of science, I'm intrigued to see what happens because this is all dirt, so we should get absolutely no money for this. So remember, we're on 10 tons currently. 
10 tons for 16.6, I think it was. So, we're here. We'll go unload. I'll be amazed. If I get some money out of this, it completely and utterly confuses me. There you go. Loads of dirt. Top corner says. We delivered nearly another 10 tons and it was nothing. So that was all dirt. So that there shows that this sorter works. It will split all from dirt. It's got nothing to do with a blasted rock or anything like that. It's literally ores and dirt. Now you just seen your proof. So now if we go into the controls. So if we have a look in the control panel, it's a little bit confusing because it's telling us that we've produced 20 tons to a value of zero. 10 tons of ore and we took 10 tons of dirt. Give us 20 tons. Okay. So we know for a fact now that whatever we put into the sorter 100 percent will be split ore and dirt that's matter of fact in terms of losses that's something that i can't tell you i don't know how much you're losing from each scoop or anything like this so i can't really help you there what i'm going to do now is i'm going to get a load more coal because we're going to run this stuff through the jaws and see if we can see anything that's obvious to us there so now we're going to look at the jaw crusher, jaw crusher first. And the jaw crusher takes blasted rock and outputs crushed rock, okay? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you with this load of trucks first. I'm going to show you with the dirt. As we know in here is 100% dirt. We just showed that when we sold it. We sold it for nothing. So we're going to run just dirt into this now. And then this is going to do whatever it is that it does. And it's outputting something. Now the easiest way to find out if this is anything is just to go sell this. So that's what we'll do. So we'll just run this over. Now I'm expecting this to sell for absolutely nothing because it should, again, be dirt. It's all gone in and the outputs and it says, we delivered something and it made no money. So you put dirt in, you get dirt out. Makes sense, okay? So now the big question is what happens if we put an ore in? So what we'll do, is we'll stick the coal in and find out what happens. This is all coal and potentially a little bit of lithium there at the front. There's a lighter grey one than the rest of it. Majoritively coal. I think it's fair that we can agree that that's basically coal. Or at least it's all ores, right? There's 100% ore in here because it's been through the sorter. And it all runs through the conveyor. And as again, you can see on the conveyor, you can see what's going through the conveyor. So we know that that's what it is. If we go up to the jaws... It doesn't tell you what's going through. It just says blasted rock in the jaws. Just blasted rock to crushed rock. Now, this is where I'm interested. What is this stuff? Okay, nothing else is coming out of here. We put coal in, but what are we expecting to get out? So what we're going to do is we're just literally just going to dump this in a big pile here. Now, I'm wondering what this is. It looks similar to the coal and lithium. So maybe it should be. We'll get the drill over the top of it. This will tell us what it is. coal yep it's all coal 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 and then we hit the dirt that's underneath it now we do have some crushed rock in there and annoyingly I suppose we don't know if that actually was what went in because we knew that it was something slightly greater than the rest of it I thought it might have been lithium turns out it might actually have been crushed rock Jaw crusher, blasted rock comes in, blasted rock comes out if you like, or or comes in or comes out. So we'll do this two ways for a start. First of all, we'll just swap it in place of the jaw crusher. Because the cone crusher is supposedly crush rock comes in, gravel comes out. So it should go through the system. So it should go into jaw crusher first, then cone crusher. But for the sake of our experiment, we're gonna go straight into the cone crusher. Just so if we can see any differences. So we'll turn on the cone crusher and we'll go and run a load of coal through it. Or at least or majoritively coal again. Again, you can get out, you can see what's on your conveyor. Coal and coal and coal. Let's go through the plant. It just says crush rock. Gravel. Again, this looks like coal. It does look like coal. And we're all done there. So let's again go and dump all this. So it went in as coal, and it says it turns it into gravel, right? And as luck would have it, that is looking like all coal. So again, we'll get the drill, give it a look, see what it is. Coal. Coal, 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 coal. There is no gravel in there. So all that's left to do is to run it all through a jaw crusher and then a cone crusher 
and see what we output. And I'm expecting, again, that we'd output coal. So we're going to turn the jaws on. We're going to turn the cone on. So every crush is running. We're going to get some ore. Now, looking at our ore again, we do have a mixture of stuff. We've got majoritively coal. So this is going to tell us the ultimate. If we put this through everything, what's happening? Again, we can hop out. We can have a look what's on the conveyor. Lots of coal. So you see, it's just coal. Coal, coal, coal. That's got crush rock. That's saying it's blasted rock. But we know that we've got coal going in. Bears are empty. Truck's empty. Now I just gotta wait for it to process through everything. Now we've finished spewing out of here. We just need to find somewhere to dump this so it's out of the way. We can dump this right here. Get the drill. Coal. Coal, 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 dirt. But that's all coal. So again, running it through both, when you know it's a pure ore, running it through both doesn't necessarily do anything. But what happens if you're loading straight in? That's a good question. So now if I'm going to get something that I assume is a different selections of rocks and ore, like potentially over here, this looks like rock stuff. Grab this. I'm just going to throw this into the back of the truck. So now what we're going to do is just going to dump a scoop full of everything through. Now, straight away we know there is an immediate problem. The immediate problem is soil, dirt, if you like, passes straight through. So anything that's pure dirt will pass straight through. Anything that is pure ore will pass straight through. So this is where you're going to get the inconsistencies because without the sorter, you're going to get dirt as well as ore. With the sorter, you'll split that up. So if we just dump everything in here, jump out, see what we've got. Platinum, oh wow, we've got a lot of stuff. Oh, wow, we do have a lot of different stuff here. But there's also a lot of dirt as well. Okay. So you see how basically we're getting everything back in here? So we hop in the truck. We'll go over to the drill because I've moved everything around a bit. Empty this out. Now the problem that we've got is this does contain dirt still. So that's why I prefer to have a sorter. The bare minimum. Go over. We'll check this stuff out. See what it is. And it's all the different resources. Platinum. Lithium. Lithium. Lithium, lithium. Magnetite, lithium. No crushed rock, but obviously we got the soil with it. So what we can conclude from that then, is the two crushers realistically are pretty pointless. They don't actually do anything unless we feed it full of just rock, but digging around, there's not really much rock. Your best bet is simply a sorter, just because it will split the dirt from the rock, and then what you do put down into the cell point is all going to be sellable resources, and you're not sending any of that dirt through. The only reason, realistically, that you want to split the dirt is when you want to backfill, depending on how realistic you want your mining to be. If you've got pure dirt, you can fill your holes with pure dirt, job to good in. Otherwise, there is literally no benefit to running through this stuff. You're still going to sell everything. You'll just end up, instead of, say, transporting 30 tons of ore, you're going to transport 40 tons of resources and, you know, have 10 tons of soil and 30 tons of ore instead. So it's all down to you. But if you want to test this for yourself, the way that I did it is I went to a known source. I know that this is a coal vein. I know it's a pretty big vein in my playthrough. I've been digging this out. So I know that it's coal. So I was able to keep one variable consistent. So I knew if I put pure coal through the machinery, what am I going to get out? Well, you can check with the drill and you can test what comes out. That's how I did it. I know people out there are saying, oh, well, you see, if you look in here, it says pay dirt comes in and then output is dirt and blasted rock. That's not true. Don't be confused by what's there. Do your own testing and see what happens.